How is ricin made? Imagine a substance so potent that just a tiny amount can be lethal. This is the reality of ricin, a highly toxic protein derived from the castor bean plant. Today, we will explore how ricin is produced, but first, let's understand where it comes from. The castor bean plant, scientifically known as ricinus communis, is native to Africa and the Middle East but is now found in many tropical and subtropical regions. The seeds of this plant contain a compound called ricin, which is a byproduct of the oil extraction process. To create ricin, the first step involves harvesting the seeds from the castor bean plant. Once collected, the seeds are subjected to mechanical pressing to extract castor oil. This oil is used in various industries, including cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. However, the remaining seed cake, which is the solid residue after oil extraction, contains the ricin protein. Next, the seed cake is processed further. It is important to note that ricin is not present in the oil itself. It remains in the solid material. The extraction of ricin from the seed cake typically involves a series of chemical processes that isolate the protein. This can include methods such as precipitation and filtration, which separate ricin from other components of the seed cake. Once isolated, ricin can be purified to increase its potency. However, it is essential to understand that ricin is extremely dangerous. Even a small amount can cause severe illness or death if ingested, inhaled, or injected. In conclusion, the production of ricin involves the extraction of seeds from the castor bean plant, followed by oil extraction, and finally, the isolation and purification of the ricin protein from the remaining seed cake. This process highlights the importance of handling such materials with extreme caution, given their potential for harm.